Hey everyone, Shaber 1000 here. Today I got this Predator engine. That don't seem right, does it? What we're going to do, I'm about 99.9% .9 sure I know what's wrong with this thing. I checked the oil. It's got oil in it. I just want to pull that cover off. Let's see what the deal is. Okay guys, so like I said, I got this in on a trade, but uh, I didn't care about the engine. I wanted the frame, the wheels, and the tires. The guy don't know anything about it. He was like, well, it's just locked. You just gotta get it unlocked. That's, I was like, look, it's probably a blown engine. I don't care about the engine. I just want this part. It used to be a pressure washer, okay? Now I think, I think it threw a rod. That's one reason right there. <laughs> and there's another reason. Okay. I thought, well, you know, maybe I can just rebuild that. Make a nice little go-kart engine. Because it's supposed to be a 212, all right? A 212 Predator. Which I could very easily put on that thing. I could put it on a go-kart mini bike, whatnot. But I got to thinking about that and I thought let's let's do some pricing on this. First of all, I done some checking to see if this thing, if these are um <whistles> Bruno's out. If these are uh Honda clones. Well nobody can give a definitive answer, okay? Some will say, yeah, it's a clone, and, and some will say, well, it's it's a clone, but it's not a complete clone or whatever, you know? So, but I get to looking down in here, now I don't know without a light if you can see that. Let's try to zoom in here, I may have to go get a light. I'm gonna focus. What's that say? Honda GX 160 right that's a Honda engine so I think we just solved that mystery from everybody saying well it's kind of a clone but it's not a hundred percent clone and uh, people will say no it's a clone because Honda parts will fit it and I know that this has never been you know this is the way it, this is the way the thing was bought it was bought with this engine and everything okay predator engines so what i'm saying is see i've got the carburetor for it but uh run 15 to 20 minutes every three months add fuel stabilizer or voids warranty but this is never like someone didn't take a Honda engine put that tank on it's what I'm saying this engines always been on this thing it was bought new the guy got it from his uncle bought it new and he's had it for many years and he said he was using it one day it quit running so he took the pump off he had another one the reason why he bought this one was because the one he had the pump went bad on okay so he just went, instead of buying a new pump, he went and bought a new pressure washer. So, when this blew up, like I said, they wasn't sure. He just know he knows it locked up. He found out it wasn't the pump. He took the pump off this and put on the other one that the pump was bad on. Okay? That's definitely a Honda engine because it's stamped. That is not a sticker. That is stamped right into the block. You can see that it's stamped right in there. This is a Honda engine. It's got a Predator tank. So Honda apparently makes the Predator engines. Now, I thought, yeah, I can rebuild that for about a hundred bucks, which I could. But 
when I got to looking online here, if I'm going to rebuild that and like put it on the golf cart, I'm going I'm going to put a new cam and everything in it, right? Well, there's a camshaft there. It's ten bucks, you know. There's one from Go Power Sports uh, for two twelve. It's a non Hemi. I'm not sure what that one is. Uh, it might be the Hemi. I'm not sure. Okay, there's a cam for fourteen bucks. There's the cam and lifters for ten. Okay, so let's just say ten bucks. I can get a cam, right? Now, connecting rods. I guarantee you that that will fit that engine because you've seen the number stamped. Let's click on that. I have, of course, no internet. This thing keeps. coming off the internet for some reason connecting rod see this is the whole the whole thing the whole shebang for $24 okay Honda GSX 160 to GSX or GX 160 GX 200 the five and a half horsepower the six and a half half horsepower which is what that one there would be and uh, so on and so forth so I was like, well, that's not a bad deal. But now we're up to $34, right? I'm going to have to buy the gasket. Uh, this is not a big deal in my book. I've, I've fixed many of these little engines. This is not structural. It don't hold pressure or anything like that. Um, if you wanted to, you could put a bolt and sealer in it. I would probably um, grind that down a little bit and either use... Uh, JB weld or muggy weld it. That's not a big deal. If you got something like that and you want to rebuild your engine, side of the case like that, it's not going to hurt anything, guys. Like I said, it's not holding pressure. It's not structural. It's just a little hole. Plug it off. And then I'm going to need the gasket for that. So we're up to, okay, that's 34 bucks. I'm going to need a starter pull rope for it and they're twenty dollars so that's fifty four dollars in it right for the cam that kit and recoil starter that's fifty four dollars now if we go back here let me bring you up on something else predator six and a half horsepower 212 119 dollars so we're we're pretty much about half the price of a new engine just rebuilding that one why wouldn't i just get a new engine you know i mean i could get i get that duramax there that 420 for 369 you know there's a briggs and strand 208 242 that's lows too now here's um there's a predator 212 ghost cart racing engine that's that's only 300 bucks you know which I would have you know to build that up like that I would have as much if not more in it than that you know there's a Honda GX series which that's what that engine is they're under $99 that's northern tool but you see what I'm saying it just doesn't make sense to rebuild that engine but what I want to do is I just want to I want to drain the oil out like I said I checked the oil was fine I'm going to drain the oil out of it, and we're going to pull that off of there and just see what happens. See see if the rod broke. I don't think so. I think the cap, cap probably broke off of it or the bolts came out, something. And that's probably what locked it up. So, because, you know, when these things get a knock in them, you know, if you don't take care of them right away, they're, they're going to blow up on you. So let me get that oil drained out. i got my pan here. I'm going to drain the oil. We'll pull that cover off just to see. You know, I mean, the coil's still good. You know, um, I got the carburetor for it, and I got a good tank there if I need it for something. But, like I said, I mainly wanted that thing. That engine was coming coming off there regardless. I was never had any plans on rebuilding it. 
But so let me get you on the stand. Let me get this oil drained out, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so let's see if I can get this thing to work. This is going to be a project coming up real soon. My trigger doesn't want to click all the way in sometimes. So I do have an Onan, Onan engine back there. I took it apart here a while back. It had a, it had a thrown rod too, and I was going to rebuild it, but I got to looking real close at the crank. It scored. I could probably clean it up, but it's not something I would want to trust. Maybe on something fun, whatever. But it's not something I would want to really, really trust with. So. Yep, I'll get you down here in just a second, but that's sure enough what I thought. Definitely a, definitely threw a rod. Alright, let me get you down here. Use my new tripod. I got a new tripod at a. Uh, it's called the Key Training Center. It's something like. It's something like a uh, Goodwill. I got it for three bucks. Looks like it's never been used. Maybe once, if that. Came in the case. Came with an extra base plate. Got it for three bucks. I looked them. Looked them up, they're $35 new, so that was a pretty good deal. I still like my older one better. But, see that? There's the rod. And there's the rod cap. That right here, that's your oil slinger. So, yeah, it cracked the rod right there, so. And they may have over revved it. Oops, sorry, guys. They may have over revved this engine. Okay, sorry to interrupt the video, guys, but during editing, I noticed this. This is a low oil pressure switch. It will, if you get low on oil, this thing will shut off. It's unplugged. Someone has unplugged that. That goes in there. And this plugs up into that yellow wire up there. So, did they run it low on oil? Didn't check the oil, wouldn't start, and unplugged that and went ahead and ran it. That's a very good possibility. That could be a good sign right there of why this thing blew up. You know? And then a lot of times when something blows up, then they put oil in it. So, yeah, after it's too late, but that's what that is. That's a low oil pressure switch, or low oil switch. Uh, this don't have a pump on it but it does see user must check oil every eight hours or voids warranty well i think the warranty is pretty well shot on this um so yeah there it is that is probably the culprit it ran low on oil shut off on them didn't have spark they just unplugged that, and then when it was too late, they went ahead and added oil because it had enough oil in it. It was full of oil. Uh, and that oil, though it does look a little dark, it doesn't look bad. Um, so that would be my guess on what blew this engine. That would be, that's what I would say happened to that thing. Also, I got to look, and that kit does come with the gasket that first whole kit uh, where you get the piston rod ring uh, wrist pin um, 
it does come with the gasket. Uh, I'd be into it for, you know, a little more than what it's worth, really. I'd still be into it for, because I'd have to buy the, the recoil starter. I found them for like 17 something, so tax and everything would be, you know, let's just say 20 bucks. So uh, you're looking at $74, I can buy that whole engine for, you know, 120 But I don't know. Might be fun. I may pull that rod out of there and check the rod and see and see if that rod is any good. That'd be the main thing. All right, back to the video. But I just wanted to see what what we were looking at on this thing. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, definitely. But it's not it's not worth rebuilding, guys. When you can buy these engines as cheap as they are. I'm not going to rebuild it. Let's pull this cam out of here. There we go. There's the cam. The cam's good. That cam's in real good shape. These are your lifters, are also known as tappets. Not too bad. I've seen worse. They're runnable. So I can save that cam. That's a pretty beefy cam T32. Yeah, this would be the same cam that uh, they're selling. I just showed you on um, Go Power Sports for 54 bucks. So. But like I said, if I was going to rebuild it, I sure would put a new cam in it. Because I would go with a, with a beefier cam, you know what I mean? So, yeah, this thing is... I mean, yeah, it's definitely rebuildable, but it's not worth rebuilding. When you can buy, you know, a new 212 for, you know, 100 bucks, you go put in... Well, if we would have bought this cam, if you buy this cam from Go Power Sports, it's 50 bucks, you're looking at what? Almost, well, let's just say 80 bucks. You, you know, you'd have in rebuilding this engine. It's just, it's not feasible. Yeah, it's just not feasible to, to rebuild it. But I got some good parts off of it. And I wasn't even interested in it. So, yeah, that's, uh... So, that's that. I just thought I'd bring you along with you. This was filmed yesterday, by the way. <laughs> so I thought I'd bring you along with me just to kind of dissect that a little bit. You know, run an autopsy on it. Like I said, I got the carburetor. I'm sure the coil's good because... I mean, it was running when it blew up, so, <laughs> you know, uh, the tank's good, the cam's good, the crank is probably good, but I'd have to get, I would say the crank is okay, but I'd probably have to get that off of there to check for sure, but yeah, there's a couple good parts on it, which I wasn't even, you know, expecting really to do anything with. So, yeah, there it is. Okay, guys, so anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you like my, hope you like my light show. It's pretty much done. I got a couple more things I want to do, I might do. I don't know if I will or not, but we'll have to see. So anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I was pretty sure I knew what was wrong with it, but I thought, well, why not bring you guys along with me? Especially after I found out that that predator engine is made by honda you know that's not you know like i said that that thing was never it's never been off of there it was on there when it was bought new so yeah honda does make predator engines i don't know if they make them all 
There could be some clones like the $119 one. I'm sure it's not going to be branded Honda, but that one is a Honda. Or it's a Honda with a Predator tank, one of the two. So anyway, guys, that kind of solves that mystery. Yeah, Hondas do make some Predator engines. Or they use Predator parts. But that's definitely a Predator engine, so... All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Shea Bear, the Myth Man Legend, gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.